This Flutter app has three types of dialogues, a simple dialogue that can be dismissed by clicking anywhere outside of it, a compulsory dialogue that cannot be dismissed by clicking outside of it, but only through taking an action on it, and a full screen dialogue. Let's code this up from scratch. We start off with a blank VS Code window. The first thing I'll do is open the folder I've created specifically for this project. Then I'll open up the terminal and use the command flutter create demo underscore app to create a new project inside a folder called demo underscore app. We can see that our project has now been created. I have also added this .vs Code folder with this settings.json file mostly to keep the IntelliSense pop-ups from showing up as I write the code. So now let's close this terminal and go to our main dot file to start writing our code. The first thing I'll do is change this device to Chrome so that we can run this app on our browser. Then I'll change the title of this app, remove the comments in this code, and remove some of this code so that we remain with only a blank scaffold. Inside the body of this scaffold, I will create a centered column whose first child will be a sized box with a height of 70 for spacing, and then we move on to the simple info dialog button. For this, we will have an elevated button. In its style property, we will have a button style that sets its background color to to amber and its foreground color to black. Its unpressed property will have a blank function which will come back and fill out and its child property will be a text widget that says simple info dialog with a font size of 18 and a font width of 600. After this we will have a sized box for spacing then move on to the compulsory dialog button which will be an elevated button with a background color of amber and a foreground color of black. Its unpressed property will be an empty function which we will come back and fill out and its child property will be a text widget that says compulsory dialog with a font size of 8 and a font rate of 600. After this, we will have a sized box for spacing, then move on to the full screen dialog button, which will be an elevated button with a background color of amber, a foreground color of black. Its unpressed property will be an empty function, which will come back and fill out, and its child property will be a text widget that says full screen dialog with a font size of 18 and a font rate of 600. Let's now create the functions that we are going to call inside these buttons, and we'll start with the simple info dialog function. This function will return void we will call it show simple info dialog and inside it we will have a show dialog function we will pass the context inside its context property and in its builder property we will have a function that takes the context as an argument and returns a simple dialog with an all-round content padding of 10 its title property will be a text widget that says product info and in its children property we will have a text widget that says basic information a sized box for spacing and then a text widget that says learn more with a font size of 11. let's now move on to the compulsory dialog function which will return void and we shall call it show compulsory dialog. Inside of it we will have a show dialog function in whose context property we are going to pass the context and in whose builder property we will have a function that takes the context and returns an alert dialog. Its title will be a text widget that says compulsory dialog. Its icon will be the announcement icon. Its shadow color will be amber. For its shape we will give it a border radius of 20 pixels and for its content we will give it a text widget that says this is an example of a compulsory dialog. For the actions property, we will have two text buttons. For the first one, the child will be a text widget that says proceed, and in its unpressed property, we will have a function where you can put whatever functionality you need for the user to proceed, after which we will call the pop method of the navigator to close the dialog. And then for the second text button, we will have the child being a text widget that says cancel, and in its unpressed property, we will call the pop method of the navigator. After this, I'll set the barrier dismissible property of the show dialog function to false to prevent the user from being able to dismiss this dialog by clicking outside of this after which we'll move on to the full screen dialog function this function will return void we will call it show full screen dialog and inside of it we will have a show dialog function in its context property we will pass the context and in its builder property we will have a function that takes the context as an argument and returns a dialog dot full screen its background color will be yellow with a shade of 50 and its child will be a column widget whose cross axis alignment will be set to center its children will be first of all an alignment widget that aligns an icon button to the top right and the icon of this icon button will be the close icon and when pressed this icon button will call the navigator.pop method to close the dialog. After this we will have a sized box for spacing then a padding widget with an all-round padding of 20 pixels and the child of this padding widget will be a text widget that says this is an example of a full screen dialog with a font size of 18. Inside the simple info
info dialog button we will call the show simple info dialog function inside the compulsory dialog button we will call the show compulsory dialog function and inside the full screen dialog button we will call the show full screen dialog function we are done writing our code so let's save this project and run this app to check it out our app has now been built i'll close this inspector tab close this debug console and zoom in on our app window we can see that our three different dialogues work as expected and that's how you build dialogues in flutter if you have enjoyed this video and found value in it be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it useful as well and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you get notified every time i upload a new video